Wagwan, wagwan, what's great? Welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, welcome and thank you very much for stopping by. My name is Chef Adrian Morris and you're watching Morris Time Cooking. As seen in the title, today I'll be demonstrating how to remove your cheese from the can. Stop using the machine. So see if that sounds interesting, stick around. After the intro, we get right into it. We know about sardines, yeah. yeah. chicken neck, yeah. chicken back. Yeah. And we are back. As I said before, it has been brought to my attention that a lot of us are still struggling to remove the cheese from the can. Yes, the same good old cheese that we use, the tasty cheese. We call it the processed cheddar in Jamaica. This is the only cheese you should be pairing with your Easter bun. Speaking of which, I have a video out on Jamaica and Easter bun, so check it out right there. See, without further delay, let's get right into this quick and easy. After this, I don't want to see nobody I use no mash it and I chop chop up it in and I eat paper and eat plastic and all these things. So let's go. These are the only two tools that we'll be using. Can opener and a knife. No mash it. Don't beat the can bad. Okay? Let's go. And get a nice grip, squeeze and rotate. And now that we got that cut, we're gonna flip that over. And let me just go ahead and remove that wrapping. All right, so we we'll flip that over and we're gonna cut again. All right, so we got that cut. For the second step, because this is not fully cut, I'm just going to use my knife, hold it down like this, turn the knife away from you, and I'm just going to help myself to finish cutting this skin. Because a few spots, you know, these things are not perfect. So boom. Boom. Spin that around. Boom. All right, so just remove the covering. One down. Flip that over. Remove that, boom. The next thing you wanna do here is turn the cheese on the side of the can with your palms and just roll it like so. Give it a nice roll and this will ensure it's easy release from the can. Then you wanna go do like so and push that through. Hold the can with one hand, use the other hand and just push through. You can put it down on your board and just lift. Rotate that. And there you go. Remove the paper that's on here. Don't eat the paper. So when the cheese start break up already. Flip that over. Remove the paper. How to cut it now? Get your knife, cut that in half, just like so. Cut it in quarters, easily, all right, boom, I'm going to show you how to get this cheese nice. Put those to the side, cut that in the next half, so we're going to get this in around eight pieces, all right. So first, so this is your cheese. You don't cut it like this. You don't cut the cheese like this, right? You see that? You see that triangle looking shape? That's what we're working on. Put the cheese like that, facing towards you. So the triangle looking shape, we're gonna cut down like so. I didn't get that. Could you try again? And there you go. A nice thin slice of cheese. And we'll just do that repeat. Boom. When the knife is getting too sticky, then you can go ahead and wipe your knife with a paper towel. So you just cut like so. You have nice even slices of your delicious 
cheese. And there you have it, no more struggle taking your cheese from the can. So once again, if you did enjoy this video, don't forget to give the video a thumbs up. Leave a comment down below. Check out my Easter um, recipe ebook. Link will be here or down in the description box or in the pinned comment section. What are your thoughts? If it's your first time seeing this, this is your typical cheddar cheese, but it's a processed version that we use in Jamaica and it's stored in a can that can stay out um, at room temperature for however long. Once removed from the can though, you have to store it in your refrigerator. And this is nice and salty and dense. And we'll put that into our nice spice sweet bun. Oh God, that's a world of fun. So there you have it. Once again, thank you very much for watching. And I hope that you may have a happy Easter with you and yours. Until next time, see if travel panic gravel and go on big up on us. Listen, man. One slice won't hurt after all. My labor. Mm-hmm. That or that.